Welcome to our CodeHS Python tutorial. Today, we'll work on a simple code that uses Tracy the Turtle to create a repeated pattern with circles and movement commands. We'll walk through each command to understand how it works, including which parameters use radius and pixels. Let's dive in. Here is the problem we will be solving using Python's programming language. Write a program that will have Tracy draw a stretched out slinky. The slinky should have five rings. Each circle should have a radius of 35. Tracy should move forward 40 pixels after every circle. Looking at the result world pane in code AHS, you can see we're creating a pattern by alternating between drawing a circle and moving forward. This will make Tracy draw a series of circles in a line with each circle spaced evenly from the previous one. Let's start with drawing the initial circle. To do this, we will use the command circle 35. The number 35 here is the radius of the circle, which determines its size. Radius measures the distance from the center of the circle to its edge in pixels. So circle 35 tells Tracy to draw a circle with a radius of 35 pixels. The larger the radius, the bigger the circle. You can try experimenting with different radius values to see how they affect the size of the circles Tracy draws. After drawing each circle, we use the command forward, 40. Remember, we can move Tracy forward using the forward command. Here, 40 represents the distance Tracy will move forward in pixels. Think of pixels as tiny steps or units of distance on the screen. This forward 40 command ensures that Tracy moves just far enough to the right to start the next circle without overlapping the previous one. The repeated use of forward 40 keeps each circle evenly spaced. By combining circle 35, and forward 40, we create a simple repeated pattern. Tracy draws a circle, moves forward, and repeats this process, making a line of circles with equal spacing. With this code, Tracy will draw five circles, each separated by a 40 pixel gap. If you want a longer or shorter line of circles, you can adjust the number of repetitions. Now, let's talk about how you can make this code your own. If you want larger or smaller circles, try changing the radius value in circle 35. For tighter or wider spacing between circles, adjust the number in forward 40. These parameters make it easy to customize the pattern. If you want to go even further with customizing this solution, consider reviewing the library in the Docs tab. Here you can find more commands and other information that you are allowed to refer to when programming your solutions. While you're thinking about how to make the code better, Maybe consider how these 10 commands could be written in a way that is more efficient. Here's a hint. We will be exploring for loops later on in the course, but here is what it would look like. For I in range, 5, circle, 35, forward, 40. If you would like to experiment with using a for loop to solve this problem, feel free to. However, please know that it is important to indent the commands using the tab button after you initiate the for loop. If you're struggling with experimenting with the loop command, don't worry, we will discuss the for loop in more detail later on. However, for grading purposes on this problem, please submit the code solution that was discussed earlier, simply repeating the combination of the circle 35 and forward 40 commands five times. Well, there you have it. In just a few lines of code, we've used radius and pixel parameters to create a visually appealing line of circles with Tracy the Turtle. We also learned how to make our code more efficient with a for loop, which is a great habit to get into as you advance. But for this problem, you do not have to worry about it. I'm just planting that seed. Thank you for watching. Experiment with different values to see how radius and pixels affect your design and try using loops to simplify your code or colors to spice it up a bit. Subscribe for more Code HS tutorials. And like always, if you have any question, feel free to reach out to me in class, on Teams, in Canvas, or send me an email. Again, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.